Hey guys, Metal Jesus here, and today I'm going to give you some first impressions and also some gameplay footage of me playing a game called Full Blast. And I am playing this on, well, actually, I guess technically I'm playing this on the PS5, but this is a PS4 game. That's one of the nice things about this current generation is that the PS5 as well as the Xbox Series X are both backwards compatible. And so sometimes you benefit by being able to play some of these uh, previous generation games, get some better frame rates, things like that. And as you can see by this gameplay footage here, it is a vertical scrolling top-down shooter, very retro inspired, but what makes this one kind of neat and you can tell from this footage here is that it is in full 3D. That's pretty cool. Like initially when you first fire this game up, you're like, wow, this, uh, this game looks fantastic. However, it is a budget title. Now I'm actually playing the physical copy of this. Uh, I forget when this was released, but basically Red Art Games, which is a publisher, I think in France. Um, but anyways, they put out the physical version of this for literally like 15 pounds. So probably like 20 bucks or something like that. Um, so it's cool having the physical version of it, but yes, it is definitely a budget title. And as you play it, you can start to see that they, you know, they're probably a small developer. And so they definitely, you know, cut some corners here and there. But overall, actually, this is a pretty solid, fun, retro styled shoot 'em up. And so, yeah, I'm definitely digging those 3D backgrounds there. And it's pretty cool because as you look at them, you'll see that there are like crashed aliens embedded in the, uh, in the streets and in buildings and things like that that are kind of twitching. And as the levels go on, stuff like that changes a little bit. Now, I am I was doing some research and, you know, they claim that there are 12 levels that are randomized. Now, you know, it, I'll admit I didn't do a ton of research here. I just kind of popped this in. I was just, you know, curious to check it out. But I wonder if that means that, that the background elements within a level are randomized. You know, I've played probably four levels of this so far and that could be the case because as you play this game, it definitely kind of starts feeling a little bit samey, like like the, the cityscape is, yeah, probably randomized. Um, I guess that probably keeps it fresh, but that also leads to one of the critiques of this game, which is that it, it feels a little on the long side. The, the levels go on just a tad too long uh, maybe that's, again, just to try to give you value. Some people will probably be into that. Uh, for me, after about the fourth level, I was I was kind of done with this game. The other thing is that uh, the music is just repeated. And while it sounds pretty awesome, it's all like heavy metal, shreddy guitars, which you know definitely speaks my language there. Um, I, they, they need more than one tune. <laughs> again, especially if you're gonna play this for you know, any length of time. I was starting to feel like I was in kind of Groundhog's Day a little bit with the music here. Uh, it, it would be nice if there was just more variety there. The other thing is, and you'll see that coming up here, that when you die, um, you lose all of your upgrades. And on a boss, that is really annoying. Like, you know, if a boss kills you, it's because the boss is difficult. And if you're back to the, the most basic weapons, suddenly you are at a massive disadvantage. And so I kind of feel like that is something that, um, you know, isn't very well designed. I didn't like that at all. I did beat the boss, thankfully, but I think just barely. Although uh, one thing I do like about this game is that you have health. So it's not one hit, you know, one kill sort of situation. You can actually take some lumps and keep on going. So that is definitely a nice feature. Nothing more fran you know, frustrating than getting into one of these shooters and just barely be hit by you know an, an enemy bullet and taken out. That, that, thankfully, that doesn't happen in this game. The other thing I like about this game, um, and I guess maybe your mileage will vary, but initially when I first started playing it, I, you know, I typically like to play these games on easy, kind of get the, the feel, the lay of the land a little bit, figure out how all the weapons work. And actually, easy was almost too easy. Uh, I could see it where it'd be very beneficial for someone who has never played these games or is very casual. 
but honestly I was actually getting a little bit bored with it, and so I ratcheted it up to normal mode, which is what you see here, and this felt just right. And so, but again, I like, I, you know, I've, I've mentioned it before, I like it whenever these type of games appeal to all types of gamers, not just the most hardcore. And this one I think does a very good job of that. I think if you are a casual fan, or you just kind of want to get a cheap, inexpensive shoot 'em up to play, uh, this is definitely a good one to get. But, uh, you know, I haven't tried hard yet, but I suspect hard is hard uh, because you'll see that actually in this playthrough, I only make it through one more level before dying. So uh, again, that, that to me feels like a good balance for sure. Also, I like the power-ups in this game. It's uh, It's got a lot of the typical ones where, you know, it'll upgrade your weapons, things like that, maybe do a, a uh, spread shot, or uh, then you can find stuff that will increase the, the fire rate, you know, kind of temporarily. Uh, there's another power-up where, where you'll get a shield, and that's really nice to have. So, um, you know, I like games that have power-ups. I couldn't quite figure out exactly when they were dropping. You know, a lot of times in these games, there will be a specific ship that you need to take out, usually at the tail end of one of those long kind of caravans that they're kind of going across the screen there. But I, it didn't seem like that was the case. It was almost like it was randomized. Maybe it is randomized. So you kind of just have to uh, roll the dice a little bit to see what you get. But uh, uh, yeah, you see where I died the first time there taking on this boss. So he kind of locked me into the corner there and then I'm back with just the basic one shot. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have any bombs left, so I was like, oh no, am I actually going to die this, this round? But um, yeah, so anyways, uh, yeah, definitely a fun game. Again, it's not, it's not reinventing anything in the genre. I do really like the graphics. I think actually they're very sharp. They look fantastic in 4K, which is what you guys are watching right here uh, at 60 frames per second. And, uh, you know, and it's a cheap game which is always a bonus. So if you see a copy out there, on, and I, I know it's available digitally, it's also available on a bunch of other systems too, like it's Xbox, uh, Switch, things like that. Um, so Steam, so yeah, definitely check it out. And I'd love to know if you've played it down in the comments below. And then I'm just gonna kind of let the, uh, the rest of this level play, because I don't quite finish it, but I get so, so close.